Um, thanks very much, um, Madam Speaker. I am uh, moving uh, uh, a motion um, uh, written by my colleague, the member for Calgary Buffalo, um, that um, is seeking to amend Section uh, 21B <clears throat> in the Act. And it's, it's attempting to do two things here. Um, one is to um, set out a, a, a preamble, uh, and the second is to, um, as part of that preamble, to enshrine the concept of public interest. Now, um, it, it is unusual uh, to have a resource bill that doesn't have a preamble. Um, because that preamble, while it's not, it can't be argue, argued in court, it doesn't, it doesn't have legal standing, um, unlike the rest of the bill, it, it really does help shape the context. And um, for those that are trying to apply the bill, uh, it helps them understand the direction that we, the legislature, intended. So to bring forward a resource bill without a preamble is, well, a little odd. Um, so, uh, under section, and we don't, we go straight from, uh, you know, the usual enact as follows, straight into interpretation, and we come out of interpretation, which is always the first, uh, second section, and go into section 2.1, which is the mandate of the regulator. And so, uh, um, the mandate of the regulator as it stands now, under section 2.1, for pa on page 8 of the hard copy for anyone following along uh, is to provide for the efficient, safe, orderly and environmentally responsible development of energy resources in Alberta through the regulator's regulatory activities and in respect of the energy resource activities to regulate one, the disposition and management of public lands, two, the protection of the environment and three, the conservation and management of water including the wise allocation and use of water. And we are proposing to add in uh, a, a fourth section under that that would say uh, to consider the broader public interest um, of Albertans, including uh, the energy, economic and environmental needs of those Albertans not directly affected by its decisions. So there's, there's two things you need to note as part of this. One is the, um, the phrase public interest, that that would now be enshrined in the bill, and it is surprisingly not in the bill, um, because it has been in the previous bills. Um, so it, it, um, it, it, is, it is very strange. So we've got two related things. There's no um, kind of preamble that, that sets out um, the, the course to be followed. Um, and when we would expect to see something that was enshrining public interest to replace it, we don't have that either. Um, so what we're trying to do is essentially make a preamble out of that first section of the mandate of the regulator and in that um, to enshrine the broader public interest. And the second phrase that's, that's um, important here is directly affected. Because you've heard the arguments uh, many times now in the House about uh, the narrowing of the scope to which uh, much of this applies to people, only people directly affected and how um, much concern that has caused. Um, so if you live across the road from where the pipeline or the transmission line is going in, well, you may not have much standing, but if it's actually on your property, then you're directly affected. So we wanted to make sure that we were uh, getting that in there as well. Um, and I, I should uh, make note that I did consult um, the uh, ablog.ca, I'll just spell that out, it's A-B-L-A-W-G.ca, um, which is the um, University of Calgary Faculty of Law, excuse me, Faculty of Law blog <laughs> on developments in Alberta law. Um, so they have actually written a paper on this particular bill, if anybody wanted to uh, look it up. 
and uh, have a look at it. But they do raise these two points, which I was very happy to see because it supported what uh, my colleague from Calgary Buffalo and I felt very strongly needed to happen. Um, so in a case where there's conflicting um, interpretations and approaches, this particular amendment would um, uh, give some context and direction um, for those that were trying to implement it and um, would put back the public interest, the phrase public interest and all of that, uh, what that means, uh, back into the bill. Um, it's fundamental to the current ERCB's mandate uh, and it's, it's, um, it's surprising but it's also unnerving that it has completely disappeared out of this bill, the Responsible Energy Development Act, uh, and, and it hasn't been replaced with anything even close. So that's what we were attempting to do with this. Uh, I don't want to take a lot of time because I know there's another amendment coming, so I hope I can get your support uh, in uh, doing those two things. Thank you.